Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and darrenoneill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up Ubuntu on AWS. So I think we'll just get started here. You can pretty much see I have AWS open here in front of me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on services and I'm going to look for EC2. Okay, so we can see we have virtual service on the cloud. So let me, let me just click on that here. And this will take us to the EC2 page. So I'm going to come down here. I want to click launch an instance. I'm going to click launch instance. Well, we see we have a list of instances here. So let me search for Ubuntu. Okay. And then let me press return. Okay, so I'm going to take this one here that's free tier eligible. I'm going to click select here. And I'm just going to keep it as a micro instance. On that. Sorry, let me just move my little video here. And I want to click next configure instant details. So I'm going to leave this all in the default. I'm going to uh, leave this to assign a public IP, so we have one. And everything else I'm pretty much just going to leave as default for the moment. I want to click Add Storage. I'll leave it at 8. Um, if you need more storage, you can add more. I'm going to click Add Tags. So I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to say Name with capital letter. I'm going to call it Darren's Test Server. I'm going to click Next to configure the security group. So I am going to create a new security group. And what's important here is that you select um, in the source IP. You don't want to leave port 22 open on the internet for everyone. So you generally want to lock that down to your own IP. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click my IP. And you can see now it's now selected my public IP. So I'll be able to get into, into that instance. Wait, right, let me click review and launch. Okay, this all looks good. I'm going to click launch. And it's going to ask me if I want to choose an existing key pair. So let, let, let me create a new one here so, so you can see what, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click create a new key pair and we'll call it Darren's new key. New key. Okay. And then we'll click download. Okay. Right, perfect. So that's download now. And then we'll click launch instance. Okay. So let me click here and we can see that the instance should be should be uh, pending. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video while while this is um, booting up, and we can catch back here now in two minutes. Okay, and um, we can see our instance is now running, which is great. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open Putty Gen. If you don't have it, I'll have a link below where you can just download Putty Gen. Okay, so I've opened it here, and I want to click on Load. I'm going to find that key that we downloaded. So let me click All Files, and we see we have Darren's new key.pem. And I want to say OK. I want to click Save Private Key. I'm going to ask, do you want to, without a passphrase, I'm going to say, yeah, that's fine. And let me call it Darren's Test Key. OK. And let's click Save on this. And that is saved. OK. So now I'm just going to scroll across here. I'm going to note the public IP. So let me just copy this by pressing Control C. And I'm going to open Putty. So I'm going to come down and put it to SSH. I'll expand that. I want to click on Auth. I want to click Browse. Okay, now I'm in my Downloads folder. I want to take this Darren's Test Key, and I'm going to click Open. Now I'm going to come back up here to Session. I want to paste in my public IP and over port 22, and then I want to click Open. Okay, so you might get this warning, so let's click Yes to this, and it's going to prompt me if I want to log in. So I'm going to log in as Ubuntu. And hopefully we should get in now. Perfect. And you can see we're in. So we now have um, we now have Ubuntu running on AWS. So that was a really quick tutorial. I'll leave the links for Putty below if you need them. I'll also leave a link to my Patreon. If you found this useful, please, please do check it out. And as always, uh, please do like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.